Hi, welcome to this third video about the development of REST servers in Delphi XE that is uh, sponsored by Mercadero Technologies and given by myself, Marco Cantu, a Delphi book author, consultant and uh, trainer. In our first video, I showed you how to build a simple REST server using the wizard that Delphi XE provides. In the second video, I've been extending the server, adding new capabilities in terms of authorization, authentication, sessions management, and showing how some of the data types that you can handle. Now, in this third video, I'll mostly focus on the client side, showing you why it makes sense to use a JavaScript and jQuery layer on top of a Delphi XE REST server very shortly cover some of the jQuery basics and then show you how you can apply jQuery to some of these Delphi REST servers. The starting point is why do we want to use JavaScript? Well, because if we want to have our applications running in the browser, that's almost the only option. Well, yes, there are other alternatives like Flash or Silverlight, but JavaScript is the only client-side language of the web that is available everywhere. Every browser, every phone, every device is is significant. JavaScript has been around a long time, but there's been a recent explosion of JavaScript due to the new Ajax model. You can do things without moving outside of the page. The improvement in libraries, for example, jQuery, but many others, and the browser speed. And finally, there's actually another reason that HTML5 is going to make things different and HTML5 is fully programmable using JavaScript. Now we saw that Delphi has JavaScript support in terms of some support code that's generated by the wizard, but also in terms of the uh, DataSnap proxy class generator that can use JavaScript REST as the target. There is a file server function.js that's part of a Delphi REST server that gets automatically updated every time you recompile this, the application using the metadata using the RTTI information for the uh, server side classes the target classes that you want to expose methods of so for every method there that you are exposing it will be uh, easy to use JavaScript client side function we could create everything JavaScript manually but I really think that for, for Delphi developers, the analogy is that using JavaScript with no library is like programming Windows uh, at, at the API level without using the visual component library. So it's, it's possible, but it's slow, error prone, and more complex than it should be. Uh, jQuery makes things really uh, more fun and easier to work with. For now, I'll just show you how we can use jQuery to change the client-side code of a Delphi REST server. So let's move to one of the demos. This is a very bare-bone demo with the standard form. We have a standard server-side with a server class and the core components and a very bare-bone server methods unit. It also has the HTML. Now, in the original version of the HTML, the one generated by the wizard, you have a button, and the button is hooked to a JavaScript function, the JavaScript reverse string. Now, this is nice, but causes a problem that the HTML is not totally separated from the JavaScript, and if you give this HTML to a graphic designer, it has to preserve this specific behavior. So we don't want to have this behavior tied into the uh, user interface. In fact, the real version of the demo has its reverse button that is not hooked to any code. What I'm doing instead is using jQuery to hook in the behavior to the button. So when the document is loaded on document ready, what I do is I grab a reference to the button using this specific selector by ID with a pound sign, and I install a click event handler for the button. And when it's clicked, I actually call on reverse string click. 
The second change is in the event handler itself. The original version was written like this. There was a value field. It used get element by ID to get that field and pass the value to the server method. In the jQuery version, I use directly the selector for the value field to keep the field. And then I use the val method to read or uh, write to the value of the field. If we uh, run the uh, application, in fact, we can click reverse string and have a string reversed. I've applied a little bit of a cascading style sheet to this demo to make it look nicer, but the structure of the code is what Delphi generated. There are many things you can do in jQuery. This is the one minute introduction of jQuery. You can use a selector by ID, a selector by class, or a selector by tag. A specifically selector by tags mean you're selecting multiple elements of a page at once. Then you can access data using the value or the HTML or access to the attributes of the nodes. And there are hundreds of visual operations. The simplest one are things like hide, show, toggle. As an example, I've used jQuery to create a user interface for the demo processing data types that I described in the previous video. So we can add integers and get a result. We can add doubles, get a result, get a value if it is OK, and get this uh, colored in gray. Get a string or get portions of a string using filters. We can get the data about a person, get some more data with underlying list, get a data set, a complete, very large data set, or even better, get pages of data using the server-side paging mechanism, the filtering uh, mechanism. Again, there's JavaScript on the client, J customized jQuery code that e helps us move through the data. And finally, you can get an image, small here, or get other data structures using JSON processing. Again, this is just an idea of the user interface. Uh, you can refer to the demos to get the entire detail. The last example of which I want to show you the user interface only, you can access to objects on the server. On the server. You can update some of these objects. You can create new objects and they are get added to the list or you can delete some of the objects. So it's a complete object management. In other words, what happens in that demo is that Delphi is sending a JSON object to the client the client has some user interface mapping JavaScript code that helps moving the data from the JSON object, from the JavaScript object to the user interface. Uh, the data is sent back to a JSON object and the JSON object is sent to the Delphi server. Now this UI mapping can be totally automated from the server side itself. So Delphi can generate JavaScript that is actually executed along with the custom portion of the uh, application. And this can add validation behavior. And one of the demos actually also generates uh, some rough skeletal HTML user interface. Now for the complete demos, refer to the white paper that Mercador is going to release and also to the webinar that is going to take place at the end of January. 2011. Or for anything else, feel free to contact me if you are interested in this uh, approach with a powerful Delphi REST server for data processing and a rich client. In fact, I'm also opening up an open source project specifically tied to creating the user interface, the client side, but also adding power to the server side of a Delphi REST application. Thanks and Hope you enjoyed this videos. Bye.